how do you stop negative thoughts and be free forever? I'm bringing 29 years of studying this dude in your noggin to you right now. What's up, Nez Nation? It is so good to see you. I hope you're doing really well. I'm going to talk to you today about how to stop negative thoughts. Before I do, if you're interested in understanding who you are, which is the apex of your entire success, how to communicate that, how to get that across so you can impact the right audience, whether you're a business, whether you're a professional trying to advance your career, somebody who's trying to build the right relationships online, offline, personal, professional, this is the channel where we help you discover your purpose, communicate your message so you can impact that right audience. We're bringing more humanness to this digitalness. So you might want to consider subscribing because I'm busting brains every single week with brand new inspirational videos to help you with that exactly. So today we're going to talk about how to stop negative thoughts. This is something that I've been really working towards my entire life. I've been studying the mind for over 28 years, studying anxiety, studying depression, studying thought patterns, studying why we seem to stumble, fumble, and get into our own way all the time. I actually went to a lot of therapists as a young man. I took all sorts of medication. I don't believe in medication at all when it comes to anxiety. Clinical depression, a whole different story. But when it comes to anxiety, I truly believe that you do not need to medicate yourself. It's really about having a different relationship with those thoughts. Thoughts can only have power if you give them consent. Thoughts are just thoughts. They don't have to be negative. They don't have to be positive. They don't have to be good. They don't have to be bad. And your brain is a thinking machine. It was designed to churn thought after thought after thought. It's literally on automatic pilot, churning out thoughts constantly, constantly, which is why there's all sorts of different practical methodologies to help people to quiet their mind, also known as the monkey mind. I have a video that I'm going to leave right up here in the cards that I think that you should definitely watch after you watch this video called How to Overcome Overthinking and Anxiety. Anxiety and Overthinking. It's a fantastic video. It's gotten a lot of great feedback. You might want to check that out. The first thing you need to do is you need to stop trying to stop your negative thoughts. That sounds kind of strange, right? But it's, it's, it's not the thinking itself. It's not the thoughts themselves that float in and out of your consciousness or come into your head that are the problem. It's the relationship with those thoughts. That's the major problem that you're having. That's what's causing, I mean, in an extreme situation, it's causing lives to be destroyed. I mean, people's lives are destroyed over thoughts that seem to kind of, you know, act as this torrential downpour in your head, like this ever-present storm that that just doesn't seem to cease. So, I mean, this is a really serious thing and it's important that you understand the first thing you need to do is stop trying to fight the thoughts, stop trying to snap a rubber band, stop trying to, you know, distract yourself, stop trying to counterbalance the negative thought with a positive thought because all you're doing with those methodologies, and I've seen this all over the internet, I've seen this all over and even medical practitioners, you know, and even people who, I've been practicing psychology, psychoanalysis, and neuro, uh, uh, neurology for the last hundred years. People keep thinking, you know, this stuff works. It doesn't work. Take it from somebody who's not only experienced it, but somebody who has researched, studied, investigated, probed the mind and the inner workings of the mind for over 29 years. That stuff just doesn't work. You have to change your relationship with those thoughts. Allow the thoughts to be there. Allow the thoughts to come. Don't fight them. Don't resist them. There's a great phrase by a wonderful Zen master. Um, I, the name uh, escapes me right now. But one of the things that he said is, you, you, let your thoughts come. Let the, let invite whoever comes. You know, but but let them leave as well. Don't 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 sit them down and have have tea with them. Now, what does that mean? That's sort of a metaphor. Don't sit down and have tea with them. Let the thoughts come. Also, let them go. It's when you kind of have that thought and then there's that immediate reaction. What does this mean? Here comes the monkey mind or AKA, 
the eternal doubter who I call, that's kind of the phrase that I've coined uh, on this voice inside your head who's constantly just, you know, berating you with questions and negative thinking, interpretations. Um, It's this endless thought torrent that can just drive you mad. Believe me, I've been there. I know exactly what that feels like. And it manifests in the body in physical form. Allow the thought to be there. A thought does not have power unless you give it power. A thought does not have any control over you unless you give it control. It's just a thought. Change your relationship to that thought. Change your interpretation of that thought. Don't get entangled in the divine mess that these thoughts can sometimes create. Don't try to understand the thought even. Don't even try to figure out, why did I have this thought? Why did I... Why did I have this thought that I'm never going to be anything? Why did I have this thought that this relationship isn't going to work? Why did I have that? Don't even go there. You're going to have these thoughts. As a human being, you cannot escape these thoughts. First thing you need to do is don't try to stop the thought. Change your relationship to the thought. Stop placing identification and deep meaning to those thoughts. This is a choice that you can make. You need to reclaim your sovereignty. You have much more power than you realize. Stop feeling like these thoughts can just dictate you, your life, and how you carry your reality out. It doesn't have to. It's up to you. You are the authority. So change your relationship to those thoughts. Don't try to stop the negative thoughts. The second thing is, is to forgive yourself, to understand and be aware of yourself. Forgiving yourself is really about understanding yourself. We're so hard on ourselves. We're the hardest critic. There is not a critic in the history of mankind, from the early art critics of the Grecian era to, you know, all these pundits and political, you know, uh, critics that you see right now on all the various uh, uh, political stations. You, nothing comes close. We are our worst enemy. You need to start consciously practicing forgiveness. And watch what happens. When you start forgiving yourself, watch what happens. You start forgiving other people. When you stop judging yourself, there's this beautiful uh, chain reaction. You stop judging other people. You will become free. You will be able to breathe. You will be able to go through life very relaxed, spontaneous, natural, organic. And things will just, you know, nothing will will be able to shake you like it used to. Nothing will be able to cause that kind of inner turbulence that they used to. Believe me, anxiety is a real thing. It's a scary thing. It's a debilitating thing. And, you know, in that video that I left in the, earlier in the card, please go check it out, How to Overcome Anxiety and Overthinking. I'm telling you right now, um, you got to check that video out because I talk about, you know, how not to try to fix things in the mind state that caused, okay, that problem in the first place. That's really, really important. I've got a playlist, by the way. I'll leave that up here in the card called Mindset Mastery. You got to check out all these videos. I mean, it's over 50 videos on how to really handle this dude inside your head, which is to me the absolute core of everything. Every success, every failure, every relationship, every career, it's the core of everything. If you don't understand what's going on with your inner game, your outer game don't mean jack. So forgive yourself. It's okay to have anxiety. It's okay to be nervous. Whatever this Instagram perfectionist model, wherever the hell this came from, it's complete bupkis. It means nothing. There's no validity to that. It's okay to fail. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to have crazy, weird, maniacal, demonic thoughts. Because again, thoughts are just thoughts. They're Power derives from your attentiveness. Their power derives from your identification. Their power, so they just come and go. Thoughts just come and go. You have a million trillion thoughts a day. They just come and go. You don't have to take them seriously. You don't have to put so much meaning and interpretation on those thoughts. As a matter of fact, how you want to stop negative thoughts and be free forever is to let go of everything. There's an old saying, let go, let God, let go of the past, let go of the future, let go of the thoughts that you're having right now, let go of the fear, let go of the depression, let go of the sadness, even let go of the happiness. Be completely here and now and present. 
and your only mission on earth is to just be you. It takes great effort to be somebody, but it takes zero effort to be yourself. Think about that, but don't overthink that. Bereft yourself, divest yourself of any, where am I going? What am I doing? Why did I do this? Why did I do that? It's her fault. It's his fault. It's my fault. It's my parents' fault. All of that is identification. All of that is interpretation taken to the nth degree that just causes more snowballs in your head that keep rolling and getting bigger and bigger and bigger and overwhelming where you feel like there's no way out of this labyrinth, this maze of terror thoughts. I've been there. Believe me, I've been there. Let go of everything. Let go of everything. Don't attach any meaning. Don't attach any interpretation, analysis, or any kind of extrapolation. Don't identify with these thoughts. Let them come and let them go. Think of this metaphor um, as I close this video, and I think this is going to really make you free, and it'll make a lot more sense. In the sky, there's all sorts of types of clouds that come and go right? You get some fluffy clouds, you get some sort of nebulous clouds or some cumulus clouds as they're called. You get some real small or real big and cumbersome clouds. You get storms, you get hurricanes, you get wind, you get thunder, you get lightning, but the sky is unaffected. No matter what cloud comes and goes, the sky is unaffected. Space is unaffected. You are the sky and all these negative thoughts are little clouds that come and go. No matter what cloud comes, no matter how heavy, dark, gloomy, gray, harsh they may seem, they always pass. This too shall always pass and so will your negative thoughts. So will your anxiety. So will your sadness. So will your depression. I've been there. I faced debilitating anxiety and depression as a young man. I still have anxiety and depression, but it doesn't stick. That's the important part. Don't let it stick. The way that it sticks is by you energizing that thought with your entangled interpretations, analysis, investigation, and identification. Let go, let God watch what happens. You will live your life much more free. You'll be able to breathe. Your lungs will be able to ingest more oxygen than they ever ingested in your entire life. You will be much more natural in your interactions, much more truthful and honest. It may be scary at first to let go because the mind is going to get in there and say, what do you mean let go? Are you going to be some kind of... It will come up with all sorts of scenarios of what will happen to you if you let go because the mind wants to fight. These negative thoughts, they want to fight for your attention. Everything's fighting for your attention. So they're not going to go without a fight. So they're going to try to conjure up all of these, you know, fantastical scenarios, which is what the mind is meant to do to convince you that you should not let go and let God. And I'm telling you right now, try it, even if just for a moment. You know, pretend that you're walking into a room. As you walk into the room, I like to say this sometimes when I do my live streams, leave your mind at the door. Leave everything. You can always go back to it later. Leave your mind at the door. Leave the past. Leave the future. Leave past relationships. Work career, who you think you are, who you imagine yourself to be, who you imagine yourself in the past, what, what, who you were. Leave all of that. Let it all go. You can always pick it up later. Just try this and see what it feels like. I would love your comments down below. Let me know. Did you try this? Let me know. How do you, um, what are your best methods and practicologies for uh, uh, stopping negative thoughts? I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear if you've employed anything that I've talked about here today. Don't forget, just really, really quickly, number one, don't try to stop anything. Don't try to fight the negative thought. Let the thought be there. Don't identify with it. Don't get entangled in it. Don't interpret it. Don't don't make it this meaning that it's anything more than what it is, which is just a thought that comes and goes, just like all the other billions of thoughts you've had and trillions of thoughts you've had in your entire life. And then forgive yourself. Allow yourself to forgive and don't judge yourself 
because people, there's a stigma with anxiety. There's a stigma with negative thinking and depression that there's something wrong with you. What's wrong with you? Why do you have anxiety? What's wrong with you? Why are you depressed? What's wrong with you? Why are you sad? You must be a deficient human being. Couldn't be further from the truth. Couldn't be further from the truth. Okay, I've been through this. I've been through this hell that this dude can procure. It couldn't be further from the truth. And I am now, having gone through that hell for over 10, 15, 20 years, I'm the happiest man on earth because what anxiety has taught me, what negative thinking has taught me, what depression has taught me is to appreciate and be grateful for everything that I have. When you're grateful, you're not stressed out. When you're stressed out, you're not grateful. The two can never coexist. Don't ever forget that. And there's always something to be grateful for. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you smash the smash button, smash the like button. Make sure you share this out. There might be somebody that you know who's dealing with negative thinking that could really benefit from this video. Make sure you share this out. And as always, hit that subscribe button down below. We're bringing you groundbreaking, brain-busting content every single week on mindset and messaging, bringing more humanness to this digital news. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.